always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. And you may recall yesterday we had a little to no cloud cover, a lot of blue skies out there. It is going to be a little bit of a different picture as we move into our Sunday. You'll see a thick layer of clouds growing over the lake and slowly pushing onto the lake shore. We'll call it partly cloudy right now, but by the time that sun rises, it could easily be mostly cloudy. And part of the reason for this on a wider scale is we do have a system pretty far off to our west, is down to the south a little bit. That's why it's going to be cloudy across the area, but that's also going to give us a chance for some showers as we head into our evening. Evening and overnight hours. So you're pretty much clear here for the next 12 or so hours, even a little bit more than that. We'll still see high temperatures on the warmer side, topping off in those low to mid 60s. Again, minimal sunshine, I'd say, afternoon. And then into those overnight hours, you'll notice those icons change, bringing some scattered showers into the region. The good news, or kind of the silver lining, is it means your temperatures won't be as cool. We'll only fall to those mid 40s by tomorrow morning. So timing this out for you, as mentioned, off to our west and down to our south, we'll start to see those showers build. Pretty much in the clear for your afternoon and into those later evening hours, I think we'll start to see some scattered showers, mainly south of I-94. Could be a few north, but not going to be a ton by any means. It does become a little bit more widespread and shift up to our north as we head into Monday, but any rain will be light and scattered. It kind of continues throughout our afternoon, but I know trick-or-treating or any outdoor plans, I think for the most part, will be in the clear. If you do happen to catch a rain shower while you're outside, it should only last a few minutes at a time before it quickly wraps up and some of that heavier rain fall pushes towards the central portion of the state. We'll clear out pretty quickly as we look ahead to Tuesday. Sunshine will be making a return. And again, your trick-or-treating plans in the evening around 6 p.m. We'll see temperatures fall to those mid-50s, so certainly not terrible for this time of the year. We've had a lot of cooler ones in the past. Uh, it'll be completely dark right around 8 o'clock, and those winds will still be calm out of the southeast at about 1 to 5 miles per hour. Rainfall totals could be somewhat significant depending on where you are, but again, the heaviest of totals should stay towards the central and eastern portion of the state. Looking at about a trace in Grand Rapids, nearly nothing north of that. Kalamazoo could see about four tenths of an inch, depending on what we see overnight, but shouldn't, again, be a washout by any means. Otherwise, it's a pretty quiet and mild week ahead of us. Temperatures don't do a ton of fluctuation. We'll still stay on the warmer side with highs in those 60s, lows in those 40s and 50s. For reference, our average high should be in the 50s right now, so definitely trending warmer as we head into the first week of November. 62 will be your high today. Keep an eye out for those showers overnight into Monday. Uh, shouldn't be a washout for Halloween. Halloween, but keep an eye out for a stray shower or two, especially in the afternoon. By the middle of the week, we'll be back to sunshine and temperatures in the 60s. And the next chance that we do have for rain comes Friday into Saturday. Man, Sarah, let me tell you something. It's hard to believe that we are <laughs> like almost to November 1st with those temperatures. I know. It's crazy. I have coming up a little bit of statistics about where we typically are on Halloween, and this is one of the warmest ones we've had in the last decade. So not too much to complain about there. Not at all, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much.